Azure Stack Hub Billing Solution by Cloud Asset comes with out of the box meters and resource profiles for Azure Stack and other common resources such as CSP or billing any IaaS workloads such as VMware and System Center. Pricing profiles in the usage and billing tab provides a means for the operators and administrators to configure various pricing profiles. These pricing profiles enable the admin or the operator to set up various parameters on how they want to bill the tenant end users. For example, they can apply a one-time monthly fee or a recurring monthly fee or enable applying tax. You can mark up, add a markup percentage. So this will be applied on top of uh, a base pricing profile. So these concepts help the admin to easily add markup without the need to go and update every single meter or license in a pricing profile. You can run various type of promotions, one-time promotions, recurring promotion. It can be, the promotion can be given as a percentage or a monetary value and so on. Each pricing profile has associated metered resource pricing. So the pricing profile contains these MRPs, meter resources, and each one of these meters can be further configured with pricing if the admin chooses to do so. You can also update how the display name for these meters appear in the reports and invoices for the end users. There are more flexibility and extensibility provided at this meter resource pricing level. You can add various types of conditions. For example, you only if you only want to bill if the usage of the disk or the storage goes beyond X GB, right? So there are a lot of uh, bells and whistles that can be used or leveraged to satisfy various types of billing needs depending on the customer. All these meters comes out of the box pre-configured for variety of platforms such as the Azure Stack uh, meters, Azure meters, the CSP licenses, CSP Azure billing and so on. So this helps the operator to avoid time on finding what meters are available and how to configure them. All of that is taken care out of the box by the cloud asset billing solution. The concept of the base profiles and linked profiles helps an administrator or an operator to just add markup percentages on top of a base profile without the need to go and update every single MRPs or meters, right? You can create a hierarchy of this base and derived profiles. This helps a service provider to add markups for the different distributors and resellers in the system without the need to set up uh, the whole new pricing profile per reseller or per distributor, they can build a hierarchy from the base to distributor to reseller one to reseller two. So this is very powerful and avoids a lot of time spent on configuring for each one of these resellers and distributors. In addition to the meters emitted by the platform such as Azure Stack, Cloud Asset also supports extensibility by having a mechanism to add custom collectors. So custom collectors augment collecting more data, more usage data that are not available through the traditional usage endpoint or usage collection mechanisms provided by the platforms. So that is again a powerful way to get the usage data from the platform. And if there are scenarios that that data is not enough, there is a mechanism in the solution 
to go and get these additional details and then build on top of that